Um, so I could tell you like a grand, um, huge idea of what I have is that I would like to help to uh, improve quality of life in every single breast cancer survivor, that I would like to see everybody, all breast cancer survivors, not have to go through what my mother did. However, I think that might be a little beyond my control. Um, so sometimes it's really just touching one person at a time, knowing that if you made a difference in one person's life, you did change the world. You did make a difference. To have to watch somebody that you love completely um, just um, watch the life completely diminish from them, little by little. And I think that's what's so hard. When I first met her, she talked about her reasons for wanting to go into nursing and why she wanted to specifically focus uh, in survivorship. She was also a caregiver. She took care of her mother for a period of time during her mother's illness. And so those kinds of um, experiences came up over time, over the past couple of years since she's been in school. You know, I've been very, very fortunate. Um, it was a big decision to come here to UAB because my husband and I, our home is in Huntsville. Um, but I decided that this is something I really wanted to do. And, you know, I'm very fortunate that my husband supported me 100%. Uh, and was behind me. He's like my biggest cheerleader. And I think that's really important for anybody that's going to decide to go back to school. Um, you really have to have that support at home. And if you don't, that can be really challenging. But um, I'm so proud of her. And, you know, this is just the start. I, you know, I, I feel that she's, she's just got to go up. This, this is the trajectory that she's on. Um, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Every day I feel like I'm making a difference. And I think sometimes the greatest gift that you can give, this is one of the things I learned my first semester in nursing school, is just listen. Because so many people, um, they have so much to say. And if I'm specifically talking about breast cancer survivors, um, many of them don't always want to talk to their family or their friends because they feel that they're a burden on them. And they sometimes just need somebody to listen.